What's up Trophy Hunter, after my previous PlayStation Indie Sale video, 5 easy fun platinums under $1, I decided to make another one. This time I will show you 10 easy fun worth playing platinum games under $5. I hope there will be one or two games you like, so let's jump right into it. The first game on my list is Frightens, which is a horror walking simulator. The game is similar to Infliction and the overpriced Evil Inside. In my opinion, this one is a lot better than Evil Inside. There are some missable trophies, but it's not a big deal if you miss something because the game is very short. It can be completed within 30 minutes. The graphics are very good too and in my opinion definitely worth $2. Easy Platinum, fun, but very short game. The next game is The Last Campfire. I already mentioned the game a few times. But now you can get the game for under $5 and believe me, this game is definitely worth the money. The game is a puzzle adventure game and no trophies are missable, the only important thing is to get all the trophies you need to start the game on normal mode. Easy and fun platinum with a perfect gaming length. The next game on my list is Timothy vs the Aliens which is an action platformer, but maybe the graphic style is not for everyone. The game has a semi open world but it's not too big. There is a point of no return so yes trophies are basically missable. There are also some collectibles, but most of them are super easy to find. However, the game is fun and not too long, and definitely worth $4. The next game on my list is Chess Punk Director's Cut. This one is a really fun and weird game and you will definitely love it. The game is so crazy, but I would compare it maybe with Goat Simulator. No worries about missable trophies, because there is a chapter select. If you use a platinum walkthrough, it's possible to get all the trophies within one hour. But I recommend play through the game at least once by your own. Game is $4.50 and if you PS Plus member you only have to pay $3, which is worth the money. Next game on my list is the shoot em up game Age Proxy 2, which is cross by between PS5 and PS4. If you like this kind of games you probably already have played this one. But even if you don't like shoot em ups, give the game a try. It's well made and not too difficulty, the difficulty is perfect. It's not too easy, because if a game is too easy, it gets boring. This one is well balanced and definitely worth playing. The game also got some free DLCs, but they are not necessary for the Platinum. Next one on my list is Dark Knight Swift Poe and Monroe. If you PS Plus member, you can buy the game for just $2.60. It's a full motion video game, well, it's not groundbreaking, but it's definitely one of the better ones. The game is divided into 6 different episodes. Once you play it through an entire episode, it's possible to unlock the ability to skip the scenes, which is useful if you still miss a trophy. The next game on my list is Rift Keeper, which is a handcrafted 2D roguelite platformer. Well, this game is not for everyone, you need to like the genre. And of course you need a bit of skill and luck because it's a roguelite game. But believe me, the game can be very addictive. Usually I don't really like this kind of games, but I started the game and I couldn't stop. For a roguelite platformer the game is pretty easy, especially if you are lucky and you find a very good weapon right at the beginning of the game. There are some trophies where you need to find some legendary weapons, but it's possible to manipulate your luck a little bit with backup saves. For more information about the game you can check out my quick trophy guide. Next game is Metropolis Lux Obscura. This one is one of the best match 3 puzzle games I've ever played. The game has a very unique looking and there are also some different endings and it's the perfect game to play in between. The battle system is random and you will be rewarded with different upgrades and trades for winning fights. So there is a high replay value. If you like this kind of games, definitely a must buy. Next game on my list, Oceanhorn Monsters of Uncharted Seas. The game is an isometric action adventure game and a little bit inspired by Legend of Zelda. To get the platinum in this one you need to get 100% on each island. Fortunately there are no missable trophies. I would say this one is also a perfect game for the younger audience. And last but not least, Embers of Mirum. The game is a puzzle platformer and I put it on my list because the game is not very often on sale. And if you like trophies this is probably the perfect game for you because the game has over 50 trophies. There are no missable trophies because there is chapter select and it's possible to play the entire game on easy. So guys, these are the better games I found for less than $5. I hope there is one or two games you liked. If you want to see another one, maybe with under $10, let me know it in the comment section below. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for the attention. See you in my next one.